Well, everyone, before you dip a toe into Old Hickory Lake, you're going to want to hear this story. Neighbors in Mount Juliet say sewage is overflowing into a stream that feeds directly into the lake. So I went and saw for myself the issue they can't seem to get resolved. It's really, really sad. Neighbors Trevor Morris and Melissa Funky say their peaceful properties have been plagued with piles caused by problematic plumbing. This is where it flows down right here. Mucky mud saturated with soppy sewer ponds on Morris's yard, filling the air with unpleasantries. We will be out back grilling and all you can smell is sewer. Those on Bellwood Drive in Mount Juliet say the issue started when this single family home was licensed by the state as a mental health adult supportive residence. The website indicating it's an eight bed facility. It's only parked for three bedrooms and a certain amount of people, but when you've got eight, ten people living there, it totally builds up that amount of water usage and waste usage. Watching the septic tank bubble over, they too have reached capacity. Both have tried for years to have the issue resolved. These emails date back to 2018, showing contact with county and state officials with no solid plan of action. It's disheartening. We have a uh, beautiful property that we would love to enjoy and we can't. Public documents filed in January of this year show the home is approved and permitted for 450 gallons of water a day. Records provided indicated the highest day usage topped off at 713 gallons. They're obviously aware that there's a major issue. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is why is it taking this long for somebody to come in and just dig it up and fix it. Currently, the overflow spills into this stream, which feeds directly into Old Hickory Lake. People that are jumping in the lake a half a mile away from here, they don't know what's what's going into the water. News 2 attempted to reach the property's owner. I'm unavailable right now, so please send me a message. We're yet to hear back. We don't have an issue with, with them living here, and I'd be happy for them to stay here. I don't want them to financially be hurt. I, I don't want any of those things. I just don't want their sewage on my property. Well, we've also reached out to local and state officials, but realized they may not be available due to election day. But we did hear back from the Wilson County Planning Director, who explained that this issue has been elevated to the state level, and he believes measures to enforce corrective action by the property owner have been taken. But we certainly are going to continue to follow this story closely. Yeah.